Hey everybody, I'm Walt's Dragonite here, and in case you did not know, I wear retainers. Now well, this is the third installment of a semi-informational series about my mail. I went on getting on your braces, what to know and getting know before getting off your braces, which also included the f my first thoughts on retainers. They were rather negative. What people don't tell you is that retainers hurt a lot. I honestly didn't expect it in the slightest. That's how little I had heard about it. But the pain was on par with how it felt when I originally got my braces on. You also need to know that when you first hit your retainer on, you will have a lisp for like three or four days. It's, it goes away eventually. Like, you're fine. Just deal with it. Something you need to remember when owning retainers is how to keep them clean. I know it sounds a bit silly at first, but just brush your retainer. I brush my retainer once every day at the nighttime portion of when I brush my teeth because like it's an entire day of wearing retainers, it's like good enough. Now I realize that there are two main types of people who wear retainers, those who wear them only at night and those who wear them day and night. At the moment, unfortunately, I have to wear them at day and night, but this information will also apply to those people who only have to wear them at night, I hope. So a trick I have learned for keeping your retainers clean is soaking your retainer or retainers in water with a little bit of baking soda. Now, they originally gave me this sort of drop-in cleaner thing called Airbrite. Retainer Bright? What is it? I don't know. I was researching how to care for my retainers, and apparently there's something called persulfate in it, which is, like, bad. So, research that, but be wary before using it. I found multiple sources, links down there, that say they're bad and that baking soda is much healthier, much cleaner, and also works better. Now I have used the baking soda method and it appears to be working really nicely for me, so I would recommend that and it's a lot cheaper than getting the special droppy things. I recommend getting a bright color for your retainers. I've misplaced this probably three or four times and the thing about them is they're very brightly colored. So if I misplace them in somewhere that's not as neon green as my room, they're usually a lot easier to find than something like Invisalign or maybe a color that would blend in with your teeth. It doesn't stand out that much when I'm talking. I can't tell and I don't think anyone can tell unless they're actually looking for it. So I would definitely recommend getting a bright color so it's harder to lose. Now there are a couple of things you need to know not to do with your retainers. Don't put it in the dishwasher and do not boil it. Now, I know these are two different things, but the extreme heat from both of these situations can cause your retainers to lose their shape and basically just melt, making them useless. The other thing is don't wash them with mouthwash because, again, chemicals, not good. And finally, this one should be sort of self-explanatory. Keep an eye on them. Don't lose them. Pets will eat them. Just watch out. Whenever I'm not wearing my retainers, I put them in this little case, which is good for when I'm eating because I, they're, just, they're safe. They can't get stepped on, broken, snapped, bent. So it's all good. I recommend using this if you are given one. It is, it's good. I've heard multiple cases of people putting napkins on plates and then those plates being taken away or thrown away, meaning you have to go dumpster diving not good. And I think that's about it. Good luck with your retainers, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. This is the Emerald's Dragnet signing off. Bye! Neon Green Teeth Apparel!